This is Shelly Kraft coming to you live on SNN Live. We're at the LD Micro Main Event 2013 at the Lux Hotel in Bel Air, California. I have with me Dr. Kaushik Dave of Actinium Pharmaceuticals, Inc. It's a publicly traded company. Welcome, Dr. Dave, to SNN Live. Thank you very much, Shelly, for having me on your program. So now let's get right down to it. Tell us about Actinium. Sure. It's my pleasure to be here. Actinium is a publicly traded company, as you mentioned. Uh, we are involved in taking up, you know, world science and combining antibodies with radioisotopes to address unmet medical needs in cancer. We have several programs in late stage clinical studies. Uh, we have uh, the lead program, IOMAP B, and a follow up program behind that called ActiMAP A. These are programs which are addressing unmet medical needs in cancer. IMAP B is targeted to address the need for acute myeloid leukemia patients, patients over the age of 55 who are relapse and refractory, who currently have no curative options. And this uh, program it really addresses unmet medical needs and we have substantial data and so from a risk perspective this program has been de-risked and has we expect it to do uh, well in the marketplace. Secondly, from a perspective, it has, we have successfully completed phase two program with this and have made, met with the agency as part of end of phase two meeting, which was very successful. We have an agreement with the agency on moving forward into phase three and to a submission and subsequent approval. We intend to start this phase three program uh, next year. So when you say agency, you're talking about the Federal Drug Administration. Yes, indeed, Shelley. This is a meeting with the FDA. This is a very important milestone, uh, having met with the agency and have clarity on moving forward into the phase three, the study design, the endpoints, and really the size of the study. The size of the study is not that large a study. It's only 150 patients, so it's a manageable size. And from based on the study design, this is really a confirmatory study uh, of the phase two. There's a single study we need to do to get to a point of submitting a biological license application. The question that I have from a financial side is what's the size of the market you're addressing? Well, you know, that's a very important question. And Sally, uh, the size of the market, if you look at uh, the acute myeloid leukemia, and there are several other additional indications we are looking at, it's a multi-billion dollar market potential. And so it's a very large market. But our strategy initially is to just uh, go into the marketplace with acute myeloid leukemia in this spe specific pa patient population. And this market would be hundreds of millions of dollars in the US alone. And clearly, there are other follow-up indications which will expand the market to a multi-billion dollar market, potentially. So what does your competition look like? Uh, well, our competition, uh, there's nothing approved for this indication in the marketplace currently. So there is really no competition, so to speak, uh, for these patients who have acute myeloid leukemia in this age group who are refractory and, and relapse. What that means is these patients have tried everything and have no other options at the moment. They are very, very sick patients who cannot qualify for a redo of a high-dose chemotherapy. So there is no competition for us. So what's your background? Sure, uh, that's an uh, important question. I've been in the pharmaceutical industry for about 25 years. I've uh, done uh, both uh, the big pharma and a small pharma side. I've been uh, for the last 12 years at small companies. I've gotten multiple products approved. And from an uh, uh, experience perspective, I bought technical and a business experience. And from educationally, I'm actually originally a pharmacist from the UK, followed by a PhD in pharmaceutical chemistry from Kansas. And also I have a business degree, an MBA from Wharton. Okay, so I think you're educated. <laughs> a little bit. Now, um, is there activity in your sector? You know, I know that there's usually mergers, acquisitions going on. Uh, sometimes that's called exit strategy. Sometimes it's called partnering. So I, I just want to throw that question out, if I may. Sure, that's an important question, Sally. Uh, there are, there's one other company in this space where we are in, the Alpha Emitters. Its name is Algator. This is a Norwegian company 
uh, which is working on alpha emitters. It's gotten a product approved uh, about a year ago and it's launched the product in the US. It's doing uh, very well, the product on the US, and we are about three years behind from where they are. They actually, interestingly, got an offer from Bayer last week for $2.4 billion to be acquired. So that's the only other company working with alpha emitters. I hope it for you. Oh, I, I, I give you, you know, good, good hope for that to happen to your company. Great. How's that, good? Yeah, great, thank you very much. Now, what's your website? Uh, sure, our website is actiniumpharmaceuticals.com. Let me spell actinium. A-C-T-I-N-I-U-M pharmaceuticals with the S at the end, dot com. Ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Kaushik Dave, Actinium Pharmaceuticals with an S, Inc. It's a publicly traded company. We're at the LD Micro Main Event 2013 at the Lux Hotel in Bel Air, California. I'm Shelley Kraft. This is Essen in Life. Thank you, Dr. Great. Dave, for Thank coming. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me.